This is an introduction to NetEmule, an IP network simulator. When you launch the program, a blank screen will open. Just select New for a new project, and here we've selected uh, the computer to create three computers for our network, and a hub to, to connect them in the simplest kind of network. We click the cabling and just drag a cable from each computer to the hub and uh, click connect as we complete each one. You'll notice that the computer changes from a red unconnected to a yellow unconnected but unconfigured state. Next, let's create some uh, labels for each one. So this will be Bob's computer and the next one will be Alice's computer. And let's add a third one for Amy. Next, let's add a label for our hub, and just hub will be fine. Just click in the, in the box where you would like the label to appear. And just adjust, fine tune as you wish. Now, our hub has a green indicator indicating that it's ready to rock for this network, but our computers are still yellow. Select a computer and select the network card. The network card already has a MAC address, its hardware address, but it needs an IP address before it can carry network traffic. Let's put it on network 100.100.100 and this will be device number one. The network mask will be the typical 255.255.255.0 and click OK when you're finished. Make sure that you have the numbers correct. We'll do the same for Alice's computer. Highlight her computer. Select netcard information. She also will be on network 100, 100, 100, but she will be device 2. We'll use the same net mask of 255.255.255.0, and we'll click OK. Finally, we configure Amy's, and same network, network 100, 100, 100. Otherwise, they won't be able to communicate with each other. Amy's will be device number three. And we'll use the same net mask of 255.255.255.0 and OK. Notice our three computers now have green indicators. They are on an IP network ready to roll. Now let's send some data from one to another. We're going to send data from Bob's computer to Amy's computer. And to, in order to see what is sent, we're going to show the uh, network traffic coming from Bob's computer. So uh, we're, we're showing the Bob's data log. Next, we're going to send data. Click the Send Data icon. We first click on the sending computer. It's going to ask us, do we want to send UDP or TCP data? First select UDP, leave it at 50 kilobytes, and click Next, and click on the receiving computer. So in this case, we'll send data from Bob to Amy. When you click on Amy, it will say select the network card. There's only one, so click Send and you'll see that 50 kilobits of kilobytes of information have been sent out from Bob's computer, but they go also to Amy's and Alice's computer, even though we were only targeting it to Amy's. That's a, that's a characteristic of a hub. Uh, a hub, like um, a network, like, like a, a wireless access point, transmits traffic to all of the computers on the network. 
notice the little green indicator under Bob's computer showing the traffic that uh, it generated. Now clearing Bob's data, let's send a different kind of information. So we'll click send data. We'll start with Bob's computer again, but this time Bob's computer will send TCP data. We'll send it to Amy again, uh, same network interface. And now you see from Bob's computer comes a network packet. It goes to the hub and then to all the other computers on the network. Amy's is the only one who's exp who's, who knows it's for her. She sends back a signal saying, okay, you're, uh, I know you're, you're going to be sending. I'm ready to receive. And Bob's computer sends out the first group of packets. They go to a Alice and Amy. Amy, being the recipient, sends back an acknowledgement packet saying, got these ready for the next. Bob's computer sends the next group. It goes through the hub and sends them to all the computers on the network. Only Amy's is expecting it. She sends back an acknowledgement that, okay, Bob, I got them. I'm ready for the next group. And so on until the transmission is complete and all 50 kilobytes have been transmitted. Uh, the next exercise you should try is to replace a hub with a switch. And you can see uh, in the simulation the difference uh, when you send from Bob to Amy with a switch, the traffic only goes from Bob to Amy and not to Alice or to any other computer.